Hi, welcome back to our channel. Do you know that Peter Dutton's warning about how unplanned migration could exacerbate the housing and cost of living crises? He has issued a warning about the potential consequences of uncontrolled migration, stating that it will exacerbate Australia's housing crisis and the challenges faced by its citizens in terms of cost of living. Stay tuned for more information on this issue. And if you find this content helpful, please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. During his budget reply, Dutton criticized the Albanese government for implementing a Big Australia policy without public announcement. He emphasized the lack of planning in the face of a housing crisis and stressed the need for careful consideration and organization when accepting more people into the country. Despite the reduced figures, Dutton accused Prime Minister Anthony Albanese of covertly pursuing a Big Australia policy by planning for 1.5 million arrivals in the next five years. He argued that such a massive influx, equivalent to the entire population of Adelaide, should be carefully managed and planned, particularly given the existing housing crisis and congestion issues faced by Australians. Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill, while denying support for a Big Australia, did acknowledge the need for significant immigration reform. Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marlis criticized the coalition's stance on the issue labeling it hypocritical considering their own previous projections for a larger population. Marlis also blamed the coalition and the Greens for obstructing efforts to address the housing crisis, as Labour still lacked the necessary support to pass their Housing Australia Future Fund in the Senate. Dutton further expressed his concerns about the impact of the budget on families, arguing that it offered little support to working Australians and risked creating a generation of working poor. Opposition finance spokeswoman Jane Hume accused the government of failing to address inflation, stating that tackling inflation at its root was necessary for effective governance. Dutton maintained that an increase of 1.5 million migrants over the next five years would exacerbate the housing and rental crises, pointing out that infrastructure spending were being cut despite the already existing congestion. He criticized the government for allegedly leaving families with children and mortgages $25,000 worse off and claimed that power bills would continue to rise despite the energy relief measures outlined in the budget. Assistant Treasurer Stephen Jones dismissed Dutton's remarks, stating that they were rehashed ideas that had been rejected by voters in the previous election. Meanwhile, Senator Hume emphasized the importance of managing the migration system effectively to ensure economic benefits rather than harm. In terms of cost of living relief, the budget included measures totaling $14.6 billion, such as a $40 per week increase in welfare payments for those on JobSeeker. However, Dutton suggested raising the income-free threshold instead, allowing people to earn more. He criticized the government's decisions, claiming they contributed to higher inflation. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for your valuable time, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.